Hi guys, it's Steve from Vintage Classics. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys some um, 1961 Golden Press baseball cards. Um, this is a uh, 33 card set, um, originally sold in a booklet and the cards were, were uh, perforated so that you could uh, tear them out. I don't have a, a sheet that hasn't been torn. Mine are all, have all been separated and I've got them in top loaders, but uh, they originally sold for 29 cents, believe it or not. Um, I'd like to find something today to sold for 29 cents. <laughs> but the uh, they're nice looking cards. Um, most of mine are in pretty good shape. There's a few. Unfortunately, the Joe DiMaggio of mine is, isn't in the best of shape. And I would uh, probably have to upgrade that eventually. Uh, but I'm going to show you those. And then my wife and I just got back from Cooperstown um, this past weekend. And we celebrated my uh, 60th birthday. The big 6-0. <laughs> and I got a few things. Just a couple, uh, three or four uh, Perez Steel postcards i want to show you that uh i thought were pretty nice and i got them relatively cheap up there um it's a good time of year to go i've been up there during the induction ceremony week uh, a few times um that also is a, a lot of fun it's a once in a lifetime thing but it's very crowded and it's hard to see things and uh if you're looking for sports memorabilia cards or whatever it might be autographed baseballs it's, it's easier to, to go during the off season or i know right i went right at the beginning of the, the base, baseball season started okay all right, well, let's start off. I'm going to show you, uh, like I said, some Golden Press baseball. Uh, I'm going to start off with Mel Ott. Yeah, there's the back of them. Like I said, they, um, they're nice cards. Uh, they're, uh, I guess, like they draw their artist depictions and stuff, but they uh, they are really nice looking. And the back has a little description of the player and their lifetime um uh, batting record and stuff up to 1961 so uh but this is mel lot he's card number one there's there's 33 like i said i think i'm only missing a couple of them in here uh number two is grover cleveland alexander great pitcher there's the back of his all right next up hank greenberg from detroit tigers Big time star in the 30s and 40s. There we go. You can still pick these up at a pretty decent price. I mean, uh, some of them are expensive. You go on eBay or whatever if you go to a card show. Uh, here's Bill Terry. Here's the back. All right. Next up, Carl Hubble. back of that one all right then you get rogers hornsby the raj back of that card dizzy dean part of the gas house gang st louis cardinals and him and his brother daffy I believe they won 49 games and won uh a uh, year between the two of them. I don't know if it says on the back here, but uh, Dizzy was 150 wins and 83 losses for his career. Went on to be a, a broadcaster. Caught a little bit of heck for his his uh, his English that he used or maybe some of the words he chose, but uh, definitely a character. Next, here's the Joe DiMaggio I was telling you about. There's uh, some tape on the bottom of it, unfortunately. Um, I think I only paid a few dollars for this card, but I just wanted to have it. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll eventually upgrade that to a, another one. Charlie Geringer. Back of that one. Mickey Cochran. Outstanding catcher. Back of that one. All right, Joe Cronin. Make sure you the back side. Now, next up, my all-time favorite player. Even being a Red Sox fan, I uh, I really uh, like this guy, Lou Gehrig. I like what he stood for. I've mentioned it before in other videos, but uh, although I don't like the Yankees, I have a lot of respect for their organization and a lot of the players that played there over the years. So, there you go. 
Para ti, Grove. You get Chief Bender. Another member of the Gas House gang, Frankie Frisch. Okay. Al Simmons. Keep hitting that pen. I probably shouldn't put it there. <laughs> All right. Next up, this guy was the uh, considered the big prolific uh, home run hitter before Babe Ruth. Uh, home run Baker. Of course, his home run totals don't even uh, compare to uh, the Babes. Then again, not too many people did, even to this day. Um, next up, John McGraw. Christy Matheson. Back of that. All right. Then you got the great Ty Cobb, Georgia Peach. Okay. You got Dazzy Vance, pitcher. Bill Dickey, great Yankees catcher. Like he's the one that, uh, one of the ones that taught Yogi Berra how to be a more effective catcher. Of course, Yogi turned out to be one of the greatest of all time. But uh, Bill Dickey was uh, one of his personal coaches at the time. This one's got a little bit of paper loss at the top, and it's got tape at the bottom. Uh, Eddie Collins. Obviously, I've got some work to do replay, <laughs> replacing some of these cards. Um, like I said, they're not hard to find. They're... Uh, Readily accessible like uh, on eBay or a number of places. Walter Johnson, big train. Back of that one. Almost at the end here. You get uh, Tris Speaker. Okay, at the back of that one. Napoleon Lajaway. They got Nap Lajaway on here, but. I've actually got a piece of a, his, one of today's modern relic cards, a piece of his bat. I've also got one of Lou Gehrig over there on the shelf somewhere. And then you get the Hornus Wagner. Looks like I paid $10 for this one. So I have to switch. I usually take the price tags. I switch out the uh, the penny sleeves and put one that doesn't have the thing on it, the price. Yeah. All right, let's see. I have, uh, like I said, there's 33 of them. I have one... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I've got twenty-seven of them, so uh, I have six to get, a couple to replace. Definitely a nice set. Uh, I also told you how I came back from Cooperstown this past weekend. I was able to pick up a, a number of things besides these four, but I just picked these four to show you for today. Uh, the Perez Steel postcards. I really like the way they look. Henry Aaron. Here's how the back looks. Ernie Banks. Let's play two. Back of that one. All of these are numbered. Um, the Hank Aaron is numbered uh, 4,566 of 10,000. There's 10,000 of each one of these. Ernie Banks is 4,566 of 10,000. Didn't even notice that's the same exact number as the Aaron one. Um, then you have Warren Spahn, the all-time winningest left-handed pitcher. He's number 6,886 out of 10,000. There you go. Last one, uh, a lot of people consider this guy the greatest pitcher of all time, uh, the great Sandy Koufax. I got all these, believe it or not, they were $6 each at Cooperstown. I mean, you can't go wrong for 24 bucks to get these four. Um, had they had more of them, I would have grabbed them. Um, great for autographs. Unfortunately, uh, 
all the ones I have here, um, well, Sandy Koufax is still alive. Uh, the other guys are gone, but, um, you know, they look really nice with autographs. You can buy them with autographs already on there. Well, that's about all I have uh, for, for cards to show you today. I um, just wanted to say that, uh, you know, I really enjoy the community. I've gotten some great response from my videos. This is my seventh one right now. Uh, I plan on making some more. But uh, I really enjoy reading the comments and stuff like that. It gives me some feedback, maybe some things to show. And I, I, I'm on YouTube all the time watching other people's videos. Um, so uh, John Mangini, I, 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 wa I watch a lot of his, uh, pick up ideas from him and stuff. My collection doesn't compare at all to his. Uh, I mean, I have a really nice collection, a, lot, a wide variety, a lot of 90, tons of vintage, but uh, not like he has. Um, but I enjoy it. You know, again, it comes down to, uh, you know, I'm happy with the way I'm building my collection. Um, I started when I was seven, which was uh, 1970. <laughs> um, and I just keep on going at it. And I bought, I got a few of the, uh, was it the story of the day and picked up some, um, the 2023 tops cards, uh, Ronald Acuna. I, I'm not really big into the, the new stuff, but, you know, like anything else, you get the bug and uh, in you, and uh, a card is a card. So I, I, um, I do, I do buy some. But uh, if you guys are interested ever in trading cards or whatever and stuff, I've said this pretty much in all my videos. But uh, just reach out to me because um, I've got a lot of stuff that I have extras of that I'm willing to trade. I really enjoy trading cards a lot. So, but uh, that's about it for today. I um, hope you guys are having a, a good week. I know it's only what Monday. So <laughs> hope your week goes well. I hope you had a good weekend. Tonight, we got the uh, NCAA championship game with San Diego State and UConn. Personally, I'm rooting for UConn uh, due to the, the proximity to uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut. So, but I'm sure that'll be a great game. All right. As I always say, keep on collecting. And until next time, have a good day. Bye.